So today in our training, I want you to share your screen with me and you'll do some good practice on static keyboard, okay? Mm -hmm. So please start IntelliJ and share your screen with me. What is your project when you do the practice every time? Click open. No, 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 no. Okay. I don't know why I should go back. I should go back to my other one that I had, right? No. This is, uh, click this I, I, idea projects. I, idea projects here between favorites and links. Oh, between links. Yes, yes, this one, yes. Java course, yes, it, it's this one. Okay, SRC. Okay, so these are Java classes. Okay, wait for me. Like, you can close, close this window and open it again. Like click file, 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 close project, file, close project, close project. It's up, not down. There it is. Close project. There is, yeah, yeah, I see it. Okay, remove this. Click on this time. No. Op open IntelliJ again first. No, no, open. Click open. Yeah. Yeah. Now, I want you to create a new class, give it any name, okay? And in this class, I want you to create two variables, one static, one non-static, and two methods, one static and one non-static, okay? And I want you to create constructor. And then in the main method, I want you to call all these variables and methods in the main. Method. So show me how you're going to.
brother, you, what you're doing is wrong. What you're trying to do is wrong. Okay? First, you cannot put any code out in the Java class. That's first. Second, here on line number three, there is an error. Do you know why it's an error? Mm. It's giving you an error. Because you put the static keyword between the data type and the variable name which is wrong. If you want to make a field static, you should put static keyword like before the data type, not after the data type. Okay. And please, I want all your code to be aligned in one line. I don't want some code to be aligned left, some other code to be aligned right. I don't want it. I want them all lines to be aligned together on the same time. Okay. What are you trying to do here first? Brother, hmm. what are you trying to do here on line number 1120? Making two methods. Is this a method? A constructor, two constructors. Yeah, it's a constructor. Okay, so first constructor is no arguments constructor, and you put a print statement in the body. It's okay. Second constructor, it takes a parameter called sum. But since it takes parameter, I expect this constructor to do something in this uh, body apart from just printing the sum. Like we should assign a value using this parameter to one of our class members. It's the five. It's uh, equivalent to five. So I expect in this constructor to assign the value, the new value to some field. 
Look, like we already have integer sum equal five, right? Mm -hmm. And here in this static ky, okay, in this constructor, we take a parameter, it's called sum, and it's again of type integer. So we want to set this parameter to the sum variable we already have in our class. How to do it? We did this multiple times. Actually, we did it many times. Mm -hmm. Can you remember? Uh, trying to do the reset. What's your question? How to set this parameter? Okay, to the local data member in our class called some. We have here field in our class called sum. How to set this parameter? Okay, to this sum we have here in our class. Uh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. This. Mm, yes. Yes. Ah, yeah, yeah. Correct. Correct. Now we remember. And now you can print some. I want you to print this to some to make sure that it's working fine. And uh, print this dot sum. On line number 13, and instead of printing some, I want you to print this dot sum. Oh, yeah, this. Yeah, this makes sense. So to make sure that your value is already set successfully to your. Your field. Okay, great. What else? I want you to. What are you trying to do? Okay, okay, no problem. Now, here we have two variables, two fields, one static, one non static, and two constructors. Now I want you to add two methods. One is a static method, and another one is non static method. The static method will change the value of the name. Okay. And the non-static will change the value of some. Russell.
Is this correct? Do you think that you, what you are doing is correct? Mm -hmm. First, is this static keyword should be in between the access modifier and the data type, not before the access modifier. Okay. That's first. Mm -hmm. Second, in the next one, what is name equal name equal friend? Engine variable. Engine Did you see anything like that before? Name equal name equal friend? No. Okay. And I don't want this rank to be a constant like this. I want to pass a value as an argument to change the value uh, method. Okay. And then we will set the name to, or we will set this argument to the name value. Do you, see, do, you, do you see what we did in the constructor? I want you to mm -hmm. do the same, but here in this method. I want you not only to change the value of name, but change the value of name and uh, sum in, in this change value method.
Brother, do you think it's possible? I see you hmm? keep trying, but have you think about it? Is it possible? Like now we are in aesthetic muscle. I want you to do the same. Now I want you to keep this, like freeze this change value for now, okay? And I want you to create another method, which is non-static method. And I want you to try doing the same, but in non-static method. You can give it any name. We don't really need this dot sum here because this any change is not taking parameter called sum anyway. You just did in in a second and it worked. Why? Here from your first try, it worked. Unlike in change value, we have been trying many times and it's not working. You know the difference? No, it's static. Because sum is non-static field. And you're trying to access this non-static sum in a static method called the change value. So this is not allowed. We mentioned this info in our last session. I want you to try to change the value of static field name, okay, in any change message. In any change yeah. method, I want you to change the value of name. Where are you going? We have change value method. This one, yes, not this, no, the one up here. Yes, this one. Sorry, not this one. It's any change, the last one. In any change, you, you already change the value of sum. Okay, I want you again to change the value of name in this method. Okay, very good, very good. So this name is a static field and still can be accessed in non-static method. Unlike in change value, we tried to access non-static field in static method, we couldn't. So please keep this information in your head. Don't forget, okay? Now I want you to go, yeah, now I want you to go to the main method and I want you to call all these variables and methods constructor mm -hmm. okay in the means please please do it fast no go to go go to the other class brother where you put your main oh, okay. no not here yeah create new java class give it any name and put your main method inside this thing
browser. What are you trying to do? Begin a object. Okay, but to make an object, you should use a class name exactly as it is. Oh, yeah, that's right. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay. I should have picked better. I should have picked a better name. Yes. Now it's working. <laughs> now you know how to do it. It's a terrible name. Yeah, because you cannot name your variable or the, your object with a static keyword. Static is a keyword. So it should not be used as object name. So here, using this object, we could access the sum. We don't need print line here because you already put all your print line in in the class itself. Mm -hmm. So no need to print line. Here. Now we access one non-static variable. We have other uh, stuff to access, static and non-static. OK, yes, any change. OK, great. Now we we have access to all the non-static members. What about the other static fields and static uh, methods? How to access them? As you know, they are coupled with the class itself, not to any object. Mm. Oh yeah, the um that uh, static the name the name variable the name. Okay, how to access the name and how to access a method called the change getter, type, which is getter, static setters. method. The getter setters. No, not getters and setters. Now you tell me how to access. Is it using object name or class name? Uh, class name. Okay, you try, please. Ah, look, yes. It's okay. Set a name. Okay, last one is the change value. Change values. How to access the change values? Mm. What are you trying to do? What are you doing? Um, accessing the change values? Yes. Um, like now we access already the static uh, field called name using the class name directly without the need of using the object. Okay, now we have also a static function called change value. So how to access this change value message? Um, change value. Exactly the same as we access the name. Yeah. Change value. Okay, now we access the two non static and the two static. Do you see the difference? 
I think we yeah, do, yeah. Yeah, do you okay. see the difference how we access the non-static sum and any change? And then how we access the static name and change value? Do you see the difference? Yeah, I sort of understand it, yeah. Okay. So please run your program. Because this delete all this, delete, delete. Oh, this thing, yeah, delete. What is this anyway? Oh, there it is. Run. Okay. So first, we got to move Cody. How did we get this move Cody? We got it from the constructor. Because here you called the no arguments constructor on line number three when you try to create the S object. You understand? Yeah. Then you set the sum to six, and then you called any change. Any cha in any change, you change the value from sum of sum from six to five. Then you printed five. Okay. Then on static dot name, you gave name the value of Fred and then right after that you called the change value and change value you change the name value to Frank and then you printed Frank go back to this static uh, uh, KY class to see to compare the output with your code Okay, here in the empty or in the no argument constructor, you put print statement. Okay, move plus name. Okay, so we got move Cody. Okay, because here you set the value for name to Cody. Hmm. Then scroll down, please. 